Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and thank you so so much for all of the new followers that joined recently. I'd like to welcome you to this channel. In case you don't know me, I'm Julia. I'm an illustrator and nature sketcher and as you can see today we are sketching birds. So as I'm filming this, it's getting colder here in Germany. The leaves are falling from the trees and that means you can see the birds hopping around and going about their business. And for me, that's the perfect time of the year to start again with sketching birds. And these are done from references, but I also love uh, trying to sketch them live whenever I can. So I've started with a pencil sketch and now I'm adding the first layers of blue to the feathers and the head which are the defining, this is really the defining color of the bird. And yeah, I'm using a mixture of cobalt blue added with a bit of water. And so I have started with the lighter blues in this sort of diluted cobalt mix. And now I'm adding the dark areas, the really contrasty bit, the feet and the area around the eyes. So that I have really all of the contrasts laid down in that sketch. And defining those dark values in the beginning is really helpful because then you can sort of add in the rest of the lighter values and you have a reference for this. Um, I often also just build up my sketch in several layers until I have the contrast I like. This is really just a preference that it comes down. So no, right now I'm mixing the greenish part for the scapular feathers, so the shoulders. Another tip that I would like to give you is that you, when you start a bird painting or a bird sketch like this is to start with the lightest color, with the most vibrant color like this yellow. I really wish I would have started with that. So it's not so bad for this bird because the colors don't really overlap. But it's always a good idea to lay down the, the lightest and brightest colors first so that you don't um, sort of smudge the colors when you paint them in later. And I'm picking up just a slight diluted mix of this sort of dirty yellow or slight green here to indicate a few of the shadows around the, the butt and the belly of the bird and also in this shoulder area here. And I'm splitting the tip of my brush a little bit to make this appear more feathery. Here I have mixed a little bit of this Chinese white into this uh, dirty yellow or dirty green that I'm applying on the chest area here of this little uh, grape tit. Um, yeah, this is actually a different bird than the first one that I painted. And you can see the white here works very nicely to take down this very vibrant green or yellow tone. Uh, then I try to mix a nice pale neutral and I did this from the Taylor blue which is called intense blue in this palette and one of the cadmium reds and the result is this really nice muted neutral gray tone that I can uh, use for these lighter gray areas and then around the head and around the eye where there are really these dark accents I just use ivory black. And this time in this sketch, I started with the uh, lighter areas uh, of paint, which <laughs> is really helpful. And I'm just adding contrast and more layers to show where there are really dark accents uh, around the head of the bird. So these, these black markings on the chest and around the head. And you can see in this sketch and also in the sketch on the right that I don't want to have focus and detail everywhere. I try to fade out my washes and uh, I try to add most of my accents around the head, which is where I really want people to look. And yeah, so it, this is especially important with bird paintings because if you add too many details and too many feathers and too many, you know, these single little areas of interest, then your bird will likely end up looking like a pine cone. So 
But right now you can be seeing working more on the eye. I wanted to intensify this dark eye of the bird a bit more. And then what happened is that I sort of painted it dead. Uh, the white highlight of the eye has disappeared and I have to find a way later to bring it back out again because right now it, it doesn't look like it's an alive bird, which is the effect I'm going for here. And after letting everything dry, I bring out my trusty gel pen for this. You could also use gouache or white acrylic ink. The important thing here is that it has enough opacity so that you can really bring out those white highlights again. And I already feel a little bit better about how this little bird is looking at us from the paper now. And I really hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about sketching birds. And if you want to learn more, I have a really helpful free guide on my website that you will get when you subscribe to my newsletter. And you will also get all of my free blogs this way and can stay in touch with what I do and what I teach also here on YouTube. And I hope this will be a useful resource to support you in your sketching activities. And if you want to support my work through a donation or by taking one of my courses, that would mean so much to me. Because it's your support that makes these videos possible. As always, thank you so much for watching and for being here. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye.